Okay, so the purpose of this little video is just to um, show how to get a simple transparent flat texture into R Factor or, or into Bob's Track Builder. Um, we'll start off with um, Adobe Photoshop here, uh, and we're going to start with a pre prepared uh, picture which I've got. You can see it's um, already had all the transparency set on it just just roughly so I've gone and, uh, and clipped away all the, the background so that we've got a transparent image of what we want to take in. Uh, also note one important um, aspect which is that the image is uh, 512 pixels square at the moment. Your textures need to be um, to the power of 2 um, in size, so we're talking 128 pixels, 256, 512, 1024, so on and so forth. Um, but they do need to be uh, square in this sense. So this one's been um, been set, as you can see, so that it's 512 pixels square. So the uh, first thing to do is to take our layer here, dog layer, and we're going to duplicate that up because we need to create an alpha layer. Um, or an alpha channel rather, which we're going to use a layer to, to do that for us. So we're going to work on this dog copy layer here and we're going to first we're going to use the adjustments to desaturate it and then we're going to use the curves um, adjustment tool to basically reduce all the shades of grey that we've got there to black. Um, it'll complain that this needs to be 251 so there we go set that to 251 on your input and uh, click OK and there you can see we've got the black silhouette of the dog Grace so next step is to um, put a white background into that alpha layer um, and the way we do this is we use this option here which is an adjustment layer we're going to create a solid color adjustment layer that is white, like so. Um, now, obviously, because of the hierarchy of the layers here, that's hiding the other ones behind it. So I'm just going to drag that down here, so you can see our uh, black silhouette over the top of our white um, solid color background. And what I can do is now I can just hold down Shift, click the two of those layers and then using the drop down here I can merge them. So now I've got a single layer which is that white background and the black silhouette. Um, almost there, but uh, just one problem is that that's, that's the wrong colour. Uh, the black should be white and the white should be black, so control and I to invert it. Now I need to put this into the, the alpha channel, uh, not a layer. So I'm going to go edit, sorry, select all, and I'm going to cut that. I'm then going to switch to the channels palette here, um, and I'm going to create a new alpha channel, and I'm going to paste that layer into that channel. So that's going to be the base of our alpha channel. Um, and what you can see now is, um, if I turn them all on, you can see what we have. So, uh, back to the palette window, we can flatten that now. So we're flattening the image down to a single layer, which has got all of our channels in. Now we just need to save it in the appropriate format, which is a DDS file. Now you'll need the um, you'll need the DDS plugin, uh, which is available from Nvidia's website. Uh, download that and install it. And oh, interesting size to the window there. So we're going to save this uh, with the alpha channels, uh, but we're not going to save it as a Photoshop file, but as a DDS file, like so. Ensure the alpha channels box here is ticked and click save. On this dialog 
the main important thing you want to have checked is the uh, one bit alpha option here so that it saves the uh, alpha channel into the texture. Uh, we're going to generate all the MIP maps and that's fine, just click save. And there we go. And that's all we need to do in CS3 for now.